How do you do this? I don't know. It's been a minute. <laughs> what is happening, everybody? I it's... feel like I have Hey Arnold hair. Has anyone seen that commercial? I mean, that commercial, that cartoon, Hey Arnold. That's... Well, how would you know? Because you can't see anything right That's now. That's true, too. She doesn't have any contacts in, so, you know, she's just blind. Anyway, guys, uh, we are here with a haul video. We actually, we're going to record two today, so uh, this is going to be the first one, probably the first one that comes out this week, and we'll have two of them this week. Mm -hmm. What do you say about that? Two um, more videos. Yeah. And so uh, we just got back from visiting our dear friend Lorna up in the Pacific Northwest, up in Washington, way up north in Squim, little tiny town. And the it's a I'm, super cute town. It, so we, we, it wasn't a sourcing trip. We went to visit Lorna, um, but I went ahead. We were only going for a few days, so I went ahead and I just packed up in a little carry-on um, case, put it in a big suitcase, and Vicky's like, why? We're, it's not like we're going to be sourcing a lot. And I said, you never know. Unless it's Katie, apparently. Uh, we really the entire town of Swim. <laughs> well, we went to like a little like local um, thrift store and got a handful of things, but... I hit pay dirt at the Goodwills. There was a Goodwill there and then a Goodwill in the next town over, Port... Townsend. No, Port Angeles. In Port Angeles, sorry. Um, and I don't know what the deal is. Are there no dudes up there or other resellers up there that are pulling men's vintage? Because I was finding vintage t-shirts and different things left and right, and I ended up coming back with like 55 pieces total. Yeah, I think I brought home six. Yeah. So, <laughs> so I was able to fill up the big suitcase that I brought extra and I had to go to Ross and buy another suitcase to pack up the rest of the stuff, which, uh, thank you Southwest for the, uh, <laughs> free bags and, uh, free luggage that like yeah. we've said before many, many times, if you go on sourcing trips and you're flying, pack the extra, extra suitcases, put like a couple of handful of things in them or pack huge duffel bags that you can fold into your suitcases. If you're flying Southwest, that's the way to go because you can bring home two 50 pound yep. bags each plus your carry on and personal item for free. Yep. And I could have packed it up and I looked at shipping back a box. Um, but then when I looked at the prices and stuff, I realized it was going to cost me probably at least $30 to send a big box home. And I'm like, I'm just going to go buy a suitcase for the same price and just bring it home. And then you actually have a suitcase and I don't have to wait for it to be shipped to me. Mm -hmm. So anyway, so I'm only going to be showing you stuff from Washington um, in the two halls this week. I think you've got a mixture of things. I've got a mixture of things. I've done a couple of different private buys. Uh, I've done some bulk buys. I have our friend Robin that I've purchased some things from in Florida. I have some things that you found for me at the bins. And I have some things that I found when we were in Washington. So my stuff's kind of yeah. all over the place. I haven't been sourcing a ton because I am still working through that mm -hmm. big purchase that I made last, uh, well, almost two months ago now. Uh, and getting everything sorted and listed. However, I need some fresh, fresh meat. I need some stuff for yeah. me to do. I, you know, my lister has been doing really well doing um, a lot of the clothing items, and then I do a handful of the clothing. But I do all of the, you know, the hard goods, the linens, the shoes, the handbags, the toys, whatever, all the, all that kind of stuff. Yep. And you guys know from past uh, videos that I have tried to source for Vicky before and failed pretty miserably. At least in her eyes, she was not impressed. It's kind of and so. Meh. Somehow, I was able to dig up the courage, you guys. I was able to get myself back out there, back on the horse. I went to the bins a couple times, and uh, I grabbed a few things, and I was like, you know, there were a couple where I was like, oh, she's definitely going to like this, and there was like one piece in particular where I'm like, either she's going to love this, or she's going to tell me I, I'm a moron, and why did I pick it up? So you guys are going to be the judge. Well, Vicky's going to tell you, she's going to show you, and you can tell me how I did this time. We're going to see, did I risk it all and fail miserably or did I succeed? We'll find out. I guess we're about to find out. To be fair, when she is impressed with anything I do, you, you can't really tell with that either. So <laughs> she's pretty, she'll still just go, it's okay. She's so rude. <laughs> For the five million times she told me I wasn't going to be able to fit stuff in her bags and she never believes in me and I did it. And there was no, there were no cheers. There were no accolades. There I'm was sorry. nothing. I'm sorry. I probably nothing. should have rolled out the ticker tape parade for you. I, I don't need that. But when you're always doubting me, it would be nice if you would say, you know what? You were Why right. Why you just kind of sound like Christopher Walken right well, here? Well, you're doubting me. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, where did that come from? <laughs> All right, go ahead. Why don't you show us your All first right. piece? So I'm going to show these two pieces first. These actually came from a purchase I made on in a Facebook group. I paid like... $25 for 11 pieces delivered. It was t-shirts. It was really, uh, it was really, I mean, you really can't 
if you get one halfway decent shirt in there, it's worth it, right? So always True. keep in mind and be in these groups and things like that. But this is the type of stuff that Katie would have purchased. I missed the post, you guys. It was up for like a day before Vicky snagged it. It's true. There weren't any responses. So uh, people were trying to get it to piece, piece mail them out. And I'm like, it was so cheap. I'm just going to get them all. Um, anyway, so they had some issues. A couple of them needed to be bleached. But regardless, I paid on average $2 per item, just over $2 per item. So this is something Katie totally would have bought. But I've got a Jesus tea. And it's a good Jesus tea, I think. I think it's got a good, like, the side profile of the face and uh, Maybe USA graphic. tag that I've never seen before, but Mayberry USA Apparel, maybe 50-50. Uh, I mean, I would say with based on the tag, even though it's made in the USA, it's probably 90s. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I, I know my shit too. <laughs> but there's nothing in the back. There's a little stain in the back up there, but uh, I still think it's pretty good. Actually, it might have be dated. Oh, no. It says 1864. Oh, wow. So 1864. Not, the t-shirt is not from 1864. That's so, an antique t-shirt. Uh, I think the photo might have come from something that they... Anyway, it's probably like just a $50 tee. Katie would probably sell it for 100 I think I can probably get 50 for it. I not probably anymore. I'll okay. probably list it for like 75 and take anything over 45 or 50 at this point. Um, but I, not bad for two bucks. And then this is another one on the Juanita tag, which I also, also think is early 90s on this one. That one's, that one's early 90s. See, I, I know my stuff too, guys. So Juanita tag. Uh, and part of it, you can tell because of the way that this, they had this heathering in the in t-shirts. The Those are really popular on like the roll sleeve t-shirts sleeve t in the 90s, like the double layer t-shirts. Anyway, this one was just a, it's just a Shakespeare quote, but first kill all the lawyers. I think we've all heard that quote. Um, I think it's I think it's pretty fun. I don't know what to get for it. There may be a million of them. I haven't looked any of this up, any of these things up, but uh, you know, again, a year or two ago, this probably would have been a seventy-five dollar tee. If I can get forty bucks for it, I'm happy at that. So that's it. I'm going to show those two first, and then Katie, you do your thing. Yeah, so one of the things I love about traveling and sourcing um, when you're looking for like vintage tees and stuff like that is finding all the kind of the cool like local kind of destination tees or you know local happenings kind of tees, but they're vintage. And so I found a lot, a lot of those. Um, this one I really like a lot. Uh, and this is on the Juanita tag, as you can see. And this is from the 90s. Yes, indeed. And uh, this is from their food co-op, which is still around. This is their 25-year anniversary of their food co-op. Is that the Squim food co-op? Yeah, I think so. We saw it. It was through. right down the street. Yeah, right, right down the street. Um, um, when we tell you, like, we went to go get coffee one morning, it was supposed to be all the way across town. It was a half a mile down the street. It was all the way across town. Yeah, it's it, the town's Not like tiny. It, it's like eight thousand people. Uh, Port Angeles is like twenty thousand people. So yeah, pretty pretty small towns. Um, but uh, but yeah, I just like this kind of stuff. I mean, this isn't, isn't going to go for huge money. I'll probably price this like thirty five dollars. As you guys know, I've been adjusting, making adjustments to my pricing, trying to get faster sell through, and that seems to have been working out for me. Um, and so yeah, this I paid like five bucks for. Um, some of the stuff I definitely paid up for. But you know what? If I was here and I was going through big stacks of teas at yesterday's fits, and they were all five dollar teas, I totally would have grabbed it. So. And if you had had to factor in paying to ship things home, it would be different. But you didn't really. So. Yeah, but five bucks to, to sell for thirty thirty five. That's fine. It fits your metrics, as they say. Yes. All right. So uh, this was actually a Goodwill find. Mm -mm. No, this was a you find. This was actually oh, yeah. yesterday's fits find that I got for you. So it is, it is women's, but it is the women's affliction. Um, I kind of like it. It's got like this mixed plaid, almost a little bit of a Western button front shirt, but it is affliction. So it's Y2K affliction, uh, made in China. It's got a pearl snap front. I mean, it's super cute. I don't think it sells quite as well as a lot of the Ed Hardy affliction super graphic stuff is doing right now, but I still think I can easily get 40 bucks out of it. Mm -hmm. Um, and I didn't pay anything for it because yep. it was a gift. I paid five dollars for it. Was that a good buy? Yes. Okay. Good. See? There you go. One for one so far. All right. Next up, now going back to those kind of like destination, kind of local town celebrations kind of stuff. Um, I actually have a three for for you right now. Now these I got when we went the the second day. We went to the other Goodwill, the one in Port Angeles. 
Um, they were having a, a special, like every Friday was like fan Friday, you get 25% off, but they actually turns out that they had ended that. And I had my cart like full and it was like, they had just ended it. They were, they were going to like a, a reward system. Um, but they honored it for that day. So I spent that day, I spent $180 and I saved like 65 bucks. I spent like a total of like $300 between all the thrift stores. Um, so for these prices, like this was $4.99, I actually paid $3.75 for it. Um, but this is a Centennial, so from 1891 to 1991, and this is Port Townsend alumni. Now, again, this, this is not going to be like a huge seller um, necessarily, but I should be able to get like 30 bucks for it, 35 bucks for it. I always um, find it interesting that you sell these things like the reunion things and the special, you know, 5K races and the local celebrations, because I'm always like, that's the, the vintage that I would leave behind. So I'm like, that's such a specific audience who wants it. But you always sell them. I used to pick up like the, the quirky, cool vintage, like family reunion tees. I don't do that anymore. They don't sell. Um, but like a town, I mean, there's a lot of people, there's a decent number of people who've lived in Port Townsend over the time, over time. I would buy a centennial t-shirt from Sublimity, the little tiny town I'm from. So, um, I think it's, no, that's true. I would, I, I mean, I'd be a little embarrassed to wear West Warwick stuff, to be honest, but <laughs> I might. but you know, it's a, it's a, there should, hopefully there's enough of an audience at some point to be able to sell it, but yeah, I'll sell it for like 30 bucks. Um, and plus when it comes to vintage, it's hard for me to give, to pass this stuff up. Cause I, I always say like it lasted this long. I want to save it before it ends up going somewhere else. In the land. Um, home. yep. And, so keep uh, stealing, keep stealing from the needy at Goodwill. So there were actually two of these. And then I went to the sweatshirt section Ooh. and I found a sweatshirt. You found a crew neck. Yep. And, uh. This is on the Haynes tag. Now you see this Haynes tag is generally an 80s tag, but it does get end up on, with 90s stuff printed on it. So. so I have a strange question. So we call that, I call it a sweatshirt. You call it a sweatshirt. Some people call it a crew neck. There are a lot of people that call sweatshirts sweaters. Yeah, I know that was coming up in text group uh, that that, and, and that that is how it's searched sometimes. It's definitely a regional thing. Like mm -hmm. whether you call that a sweatshirt or a sweater. Yeah. Um, it's kind of like, you know. Or a pullover. In the UK, they call like a sweater as a jumper. Yeah, like I would never call us a sweater, but I guess people call mm -hmm. them sweaters. So I actually am going to start adding to my themes because in, in my theme section on on eBay, that's where I put keywords because it is searchable. I'm going to start adding sweater to that probably because I don't think I would take up like any extra space in my title to put sweater. No, but I think it's a good idea to do that if there are that many people. I had heard several people over the years refer to it as a sweater here and there and I was just like, okay, maybe they're just weird. But I've realized that it's definitely a weird, weird. It's definitely just like it's a regional thing. Like, so yeah. let me know in the in, let us know in the in the comments. Do you, did you grow up calling that a sweater or a sweatshirt or a crew neck or a pullover? What yeah, do you call what's, it? what's your what's your wording that you use? For that? Like, I think a crew neck is weird because a t shirt is a crew neck too. But I I just always yeah, know. I've always called it just a sweatshirt. Yeah, me too. All right, go ahead. Um, okay, so this these two I'm gonna do two at a time so because makes it easier. Uh, these two were also Katie buys. Oh, these boy. are Katie Bins buys, and this is the one that she was specifically talking about that could have been a horrible miss, or it was going to be a real hit. And it's heavy too. It is heavy, so she probably paid like three bucks for it. I mean, three bucks, but not three buck Chuck. Look at this. Look at this majestic <laughs> corduroy maxi dress. It's a dress. It's like because when I first saw it, I thought it looks like pajamas. Yeah, a nightgown, but it's actually so a dress. So it is a full skirt with pockets dress. As a matter of fact, I could see Crystal wearing this or Jody. Uh, I might even have worn this. This is so cute. Big buttons up the front. It is handmade with a tag made in the USA, but made with love by Beth Jackson, whoever Beth Jackson is. Uh, not a boutique brand or anything like that. Sometimes those tags are boutique, but uh, very, very nicely made. With pockets, modest, it's corduroy. It's got a bit of a flare, like for it's the got waist. A, yeah, it's got extra panels in the skirt for a full skirt. And then it has almost like this pointed Western contrast cuff on the sleeve. Anyway, I haven't listed it or photographed it yet. Um, I'm probably going to list this around 129 and I think I can get at least 75 for it. I see the selling on, um, on Etsy. So is, is that the best thing I've ever found you? So far, yeah. Ah, see, you see how she actually said some really nice things about me when she was showing that up, so. And then this is the other one that she got me, which is also something that I would totally have picked up. Um, there's some yellowing inside the collar, but not enough for me to worry about really washing this just because of the way it's made. So two years ago, this would have sold for like $150. Like this is very, 
uh, cottage core, Victorian, very Gunny Sacks esque. It is not Gunny Sacks. This is a handmade dress. Uh, it does have the bib collar and has some inexpensive little plasticky fake cameo brooch at the neck and everything. Uh, zips up the back. Now, here's the thing. This is vintage. It's probably was made in the 80s or 90s, but I don't know if this was made for a costume or for there's pioneer days that the LDS community does. And we, we obviously live in, in Vegas. We live in Nevada. We're very, we have a lot, a huge LDS community here um, and very close by in, in uh, Utah as well. So it could have been any one of those things. All this to say, I think I probably could have gotten close to $200 for this a year or two ago. Now I think I can probably get about 60 not 60 bad. to 75. Not I mean, bad. it's still pretty. It still fits that core aesthetic. It's just not as popular as it was. And it's definitely waning in popularity. Okay. All right. All right. Next up, I actually found quite a few Western shirts. Um, I found a couple the first day we went out, but the second Goodwill that we went to in Port Angeles, I found so many Western shirts and I scooped them all up. I missed one because apparently Lorna had gotten to the section first and she got just the one. She got one. She had seen some of the other ones and she didn't grab them, which thank God, because I was like, Lorna, but just kidding. Uh, but I scooped up so many of them. And later I had, my cart was seriously piled so high. And this lady goes by and she was like, you found all those, you found those here, which I'm like, where I did didn't, I just bring them? In? I didn't bring, I, brought them in I didn't bring the a cart. Yeah. And then she started like looking through them and you could tell she was kind of a little bit jelly that I had grabbed them all. Uh, but this particular one I actually got, it is, it's, it is, I don't need your sass. I don't need your criticism. It's a little dirty. I haven't washed anything yet. Mm -hmm. Um, anyway, this one I did pay all up I for. Can, all I can see in the, in the reflection here, by the way, I, I am half blind and I keep interrupting you and I suck. I'm sorry, but, uh, I can tell it's time for Botox. I can see my wrinkles. How can you see that without your contacts any weirdo? Know. And how is that relevant to what it's I'm talking not. about? Okay. It's not. Um, anyway, this I actually found at the uh, Squim Goodwill. I think this is the one Western shirt I had found. I did pay the full $7.99, which definitely paid up for. But Western stuff is doing so well. Now, this is the Brooks and Dunn, which some of the Brooks and Dunn sells for kind of mediocre prices. Um, but Western is really, really hot right now. So I feel very confident. At minimum, I can get $40 for this. Yeah. If I can get the yellowing out, you know, I'll probably price it at $70 and hope to get like $50. Uh, but this is just a, a nice pearl snap. It looks um, like a lot of the the brush hopper shirts mm -hmm. that are super hot with with by Wrangler right now. Yep. Brooks and Dunn did a, do a collab with brush Wrangler. Brush popper. If you're gonna say it, say it right. Whatever. Uh, they did do a collab with Wrangler at one point, and so mm -hmm. just same as um, George Street. Um, this one is with Panhandle Slim. There you go. Uh, but anyway, um, yeah. So I paid eight bucks, but uh, I should be able to get forty, fifty, um, at least. So I was happy with that. And then at the other um, one, I the other Goodwill. Now, this one was priced $12.99. However, I did have the 25% off. Um, and this one's a bit nicer. It's a nice bigger size. Um, and I like the color on it. It's black. It's got that, just that really cool kind of southwestern uh, wrap around. looks like af yeah, arrows. Wrap around print. It's got the black pearl snap buttons. Real so, big size. Yeah, all the ones that I found at the Port Angeles Goodwill, they were all bigger sizes. I think they were all the same dude's um, shirts. They were all like XL, 2XL, which is pretty awesome. Uh, so all those fluffy cowboys out there are going to be super happy to see they've got some options in my eBay store. Do you, you know, know what the most popular Brooks and Dunn button-down shirt is, by the way? Um, yeah, it's that blood, that flame one. Isn't there's it? a flame one and there's also blue. It's like a blue and black and it's got like lightning print, almost like those, oh, okay. yeah, yeah, those yeah. Harley shirts that have the lightning on them. Yeah, I have the, the red and orange flames on the mm -hmm. black shirt, which by the way, that one, I sold it recently and it's being returned because it didn't fit. So I am getting that one back. But this is on the Cumberland Outfitters. You can see this is a 2XL. All right, go ahead. Um, okay, so this was a buy at our local Goodwill. We have one that's right down the street from our house. I never find anything good there. I rarely stop. You would think we have it literally at the end of the street. We should probably go every day. Mm -hmm. However, it's pretty sparsely full in the first place. Um, there's a lot of real estate that they just don't have racks in that they should, and the racks are not super full. So I hardly ever find anything there. I'll maybe one or two things here and there. And this was one I actually paid $5.99 for um, Ed Hardy, again, with the Y2K, an Ed Hardy sweater. 
with the bling on the back, with the skulls. The it's zipper cute. pole is awesome. Show the zipper pole. It's fitted. Oh, it has like the zipper pole has like a skull on it too. It's a nice shape. It's a nice fitted zip up, uh, zip up hooded sweat sweater. And I probably will price this around seventy five. Uh, it's really cute. Um, so that was the one thing I got there. And I'll show you one more thing that I got there. Again, I'm doing two first here. I bought two things that night, and these are the two. This is the other one. I thought a mannequin because I was ready to photograph it. Mm. This is just a black velvet maxi dress. It has um, like a scalloped hem, which means it's like rounded in a couple of different spots. And then it has the hem that hangs longer than the dress, and that's intentional. At first, I wasn't sure, but I had to look up the dress because of the model. So this is, this is the brand, Tom de Garçon. Tom de Garçon. So that is usually you're going to find this with the, it's got a, um, their logo has a heart with eyeballs on it. That's usually on polo shirts and sweaters. I've shown it before. Streetwear. Super popular. I've sewn them, uh, sold them before. I've found them before, usually at the bins, because for some reason our bro, our t-shirt bros here don't recognize that brand. Um, but in any case, this is a dress, uh, and I paid $8.99 for it. Now, this is a dress that I was able to pinpoint from a collection from the end, uh, late 90s. So I found it on like First Dibs, which is notoriously a really, really highly pri high priced site. I don't know that anybody realizes those prices, but somewhere around like seven or $800. I do think I can get realistically probably $200 in change nice. for it. But for $8.99, I mean. Very nice. Yeah. Very nice. All right, next up, more Western shirts, guys. I'm telling you, between this video and the next video this week, there's going to be a lot of Western stuff. Um, now, Vicky's going to have to remind me what the name of this collar is. What do you call this? It's like a bandeau collar or a narrow collar, N-E-H-R-U. It's just the, and, and Western wears banded collar is going to be much more. Yeah, so this is, it's just a regular button up and the tag is, now this was $14.99. Again, 25% off of that, but it, I did pay up quite a bit. Too rich for But it's blood. like in brand new condition. I don't think it's even, it's ever been washed. I think it's dead stock. Um, the, the brand is Longhorn uh, Western Wear by Niver, Niver, N-I-V-E-R, Western Wear. Whoever this person was had cats or dogs, though, because yeah. there's definitely fur on and it. And this like, is a, it's not that bad. I don't need your criticism. Jeez, it doesn't have that much on it. It's got a couple of hairs. Anyway, uh, it's a 2XL, and it's just a really cool, look at this really cool pattern on it. And it's like a nice it's big, big size. The sleeves are black. That's for a fluffy cowboy for sure. Yep, those, that fluffy cowboy is going to be real happy when he comes and checks out my store. And it's got the little, you can see the little embroidered Longhorn logo right there. Um, so yeah, so I paid, you know, a little over $10 for it. But again, I mean, I think I can easily get like 50 bucks for this. Um, it's just a really cool shirt. And then the next one, I'm, I'm doing this together because of the collar. Now, this one I was just really, I found super interesting because I'm like, did was this like handmade for them? I don't know. Um, it's got that same collar, but look at this. It's got the, the, the dice on it. And then if you look, and it does have, it has the really cool like deep red uh, pearl snap buttons. Yeah, this looks handmade. And then the back has, it's like really well it's made though. It's got like a vent, but it's got the, that fabric in it as well. Um, this is just a really cool shirt. It's got some pizzazz for when, for when to when the it. cowboys come to Vegas, which is frequently. Which they do come here frequently, yes. So I think this is just a really cool shirt. Um, this one was $8.99, so 25% off of that. Uh, but just an awesome, awesome shirt. It's got like the red contrast, red stitching and everything. So just a really cool shirt. Um, I would hope to get at least 50 for this. So I was happy with getting my Western on. Next. All right. You still you have a lot more than ten. You tell me no, to bring ten, and then you put bring. I've done ten. All right. Okay. So this actually came from our friends Robin and Joe in Florida. I've been doing a, a, a several purchases from them lately. Um, I actually have another. I have like two hundred pieces coming soon. Um, as soon as they package them up. So they don't like to do clothing, but they do a lot of storage cleanouts and estate cleanouts. So I mean, the only detriment is that they live in Florida. So the shipping is expensive for me, but the pricing, they give me good prices. So anyway, I think I paid, including shipping, like 3 or $4 for this particular item. But this is just a quilted Asian jacket in like this bright teal 
with um, you know the frog button closures on the front. It does have slightly puffy sleeves. It almost feels like it was handmade. Um, I will say that there's been some repairs to the lining, uh, but it's in good shape. It's not, it is not handmade because there is a paper tag in one of the pockets. So it's probably just a souvenir jacket, but it feels to me maybe 60s, 70s nice. uh, fabric wise. Um, and then most of these I sell in the neighborhood of 75 to to $100 whenever I find um, the Asian jackets or um, robes or like smoking jackets. I price them pretty high and they sell fairly quickly. I like them. I like to pick them up all the time. Yeah. All right. I got another twofer. What's happening over My there? My stuff that it fell. More, more uh, Western. This is Panhandle Slim. And this was priced at $8.99. And then, of course, it was 25% uh, off of that. And it is, look at this, America all over print, American flag. And it is a size 2XL. So a fluffy patriotic cowboy. Yep. And it's got the pearl snap buttons. Now, there actually was another one of these, um, but it just had regular buttons, and I passed on it. I should have just grabbed it. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, ridiculous. But this thing is quite majestic and patriotic. And then I also have... I mean, that's another one. I mean, I'll have to look and see. I'm sure there's going to be plenty of comps for that one, but I would hope at least 50. Um, and then this I thought was really cool, a little more understated, but it is pearl snap. And this is that J.C. Penny. Big Mac. This is a 70s mm -hmm. uh, kind of Western, um, kind of denim looking blue Western shirt. And it's got the really cool. It's like a chambray. It's a very uh, soft uh, cotton. Yeah, it's got the really cool um, orange stitching going on. Dagger and, collar. Uh, yep, dagger collar. Just a really cool shirt. I paid, this was $7.99. Um, and, you know, again, I would hope to get like around 50 for this. Just a cool piece of 70s. I think actually history. that one's the most valuable one that you have. Yeah. Out of I mean, I, I will, sure. I will be, you know, I do comp this stuff just to see like what else is out there, but go ahead. Um, I just have my last two items I'm going to show you. These also came from Robin and Joe. Again, probably three to four dollars all in, including uh, the shipping. These I'm probably not going to get a ton for because they are smaller, but... Look at, look at these cute little vintage lederhosen. I can't even stand Those it. Those are stupid cute. Um, these are, tr you know, traditional German lederhosen shorts. They're made in, they're suede and leather and accents. They could be worn by a boy or a girl. It's usually the little boys that wear these. The girls wear the dresses that are called the dirndls. Um, but the tag is still in it with the price and everything. Um, these were probably purchased and you know, it, they may have even come from Germany, um, or at least a German shop. Could you retrofit that for a dog? Um, I don't know. <laughs> uh, I don't know what the kids' ones are going to I mean, if these were adults, I would price these for probably like 200 bucks. But kids, it, they are small. There's, this is going to be like for a little boy, like three, four years old tops. But so cute, so cute. Uh, I could not let these just die on the vine somewhere. So... I really don't know what I'm going to price them at, but I would probably price them around $100. I think I'll probably take anything over 50 just because they're small, but they're so cute. Very, very cute. All right, next up for me, um, let's skip a couple of these things. I've got, this was at the little local um, vent, or, uh, resale shop that was just, I don't know, it's like a local nonprofit or something. And this is a JCPenney men's shop, but look at this amazing ridiculous 70s men's robe Vicky can probably tell you a little bit more about it I think it's brand new I, it doesn't look like it's really been worn I mean I don't know that it's brand new but it doesn't feel very worn it's in really good shape but it's it's like it's almost like that soft flannel uh the mm -hmm. soft brushed flannel it's not um it's not velvet it's not velour but it's like a brushed fan flannel polyester and it's got the piping on it I love it how much do you think I could sell this for like 75 bucks and I paid Where's there's a tag on it somewhere? I paid four dollars and fifty cents. So not too shabby. Not so, too shabby. Not too shabby. All right, your last one. This is my last one. This also came from Robin and Joe in Florida. Uh, these are some vintage uh, Canadian boots. So these are oh, made no. in Canada. This is probably elk or deer. They uh, it was very popular to make these type of snow boots. They have the D-hook 
um, uh, lace up laces in the front and a heavy like rubber sole. They look, the sole is yellowed with age, but it, they're not, you couldn't bend these or break these if you tried. Uh, but here's like, let me show you like the tag, if I can get to the tag. So the inside is like Sherpa line. So these are like very, um, very nicely made and wow. heavy. And that's what the label looks like. They're probably sixties. Um, that's my, my guesstimation of era, but they are on the small side. They're women's, but they're very funky. I don't know what I'm going to pay, what I'm going to list them for. I'm going to have to do a little bit of research. These type of deer boots are, um, they're not super common, but you do run into them. And, uh, you know, minimum 65, 75 bucks. I think I can get for them. Nice. Nice. All right. My last piece for this video. Uh, this is my favorite thing that I found the first day that we went out and I found this at the Goodwill and they were not having a sale. So I paid the full $12.99 for this, uh, but I think it's well worth it. This is just a really nice vintage Woolrich fleece pullover. Um, it's got the, the mock neck going on. It's a, it's like a half zip. It's got the kangaroo um, pocket in the front there. And it's got the really cool all over print of, um, is it deer or reindeer? Um, it's got like little Christmas trees. It's like it's a, a nice little winter, winter scene. Little winter scene. And then I'll show you the tag on it. It is made in the USA, as I said. Um, and it's a nice big size XL. And I think I can get like $100 for this. I know Vicky has one in her store, but hers is a little bit different. It's got a hood. I think it's women's. It is women's. Um, it's a lighter color. Um, so, you know, she was saying, well, I have one in my shop and I've had it there. It's been sitting forever. And, uh, but I feel pretty confident. Maybe not forever, forever, but at least six months. Yeah. But I feel confident with this one. This is really nice and really good condition. Nice, big size super warm and uh i feel pretty good about selling it for like at least a hundred dollars so um but i love it i love it Don't all right on your face i can do whatever i want storm i can do whatever i want <laughs> all right guys thank you so much for hanging out with us and stay tuned we will actually bring you a second haul video this week which we are going to film right after this wearing the same clothes she'll be just as blind and have as ridiculous of a look on her face yeah for that one That's so fair. see you guys later thanks for hanging out you don't want to say bye oh bye <laughs> bye <laughs> i was waiting for you to end it <laughs>